Hello, welcome back to Grand Day 2. We left last time after visiting the Mounting of the Sky God. Sounds familiar. I have done a little bit of grinding. I don't know why it's important to show it, but uh, I feel proud of it. <laughs> Ish. We have a few more levels, and um, I'm actually going to wait for uh, future grinding sessions to have a specific place in which I can do the water magic incredibly easy. Hopefully we don't... Um, where the heck am I going? We don't reach it quite yet, because I would like to have the water magic on Fina as well. To actually do both of those at the same time. Where is the chief? There we go. We got the nectar from the top of the mountain, which means we are... complete citizen? You really brought back the nectar of the gods. Sure, they have no choice. No, no choice. Now you must drink some of that nectar. Well, that went perfectly last time we ate a nut. So, I'm looking forward to this. Once the nectar ent enters your mouth, the god of light will accept you as one of us. You could just put the jar to your lips while really drinking. It's a symbolism, after all. Or you could simply be on our way. We wouldn't mind at all, you know. I don't think I don't feel like we're welcomed, but sure. Uh, well, I just pretend to drink it, like this. Yes, the God of Light now regards you as one of us. However, I don't know why it lets me move, but... Please take my friendly advice and give up your plans. Toss away those unreasonable ideas. Pardon? What's going on here? Unreasonable ideas? I heard from Rem that you want to cross the end of the world. To do that, you have to get out of the Misty Forest. Endless, though it seems. Through it seems, though it seems, something. That's right. Doesn't the mist clearing nut work for that? We would need something like that. Um, those nuts are very valuable. We only got a few in the village. They can be given away so easily. Take my friendly advice and do not attempt to cross. Do not attempt a crossing. How stingy. Now all we're hearing is please quit, please don't do it. Young man with a rude mouth. We are not being stingy. The misclaiming nuts are vitally important to us as residents of the Misty Forest. One would assume you have another way, since you reside here. But, okay. They are treasures that our ancestors received from the Icarians. The Icarians, he said. You mean the Icarians from the Angelou legend? Sir, do you mean the Angelou legends are told here in luck? Loose. Whatever. Third time already. Please want to hear them all. Oh well, I suppose it couldn't hurt to tell them. It'll take a while, though. According to the old, according to the old tale, back in the day, in the village, in the distant past, the world was bathed in light, a glorious world. The Icarians were protected. They did not suffer from old age or illness. It was a peaceful world, they say. Then, this feels very much like everything was perfect until humans came. I don't know why I get that idea, but anyway. Then our ancestors stole the wings from the Icarians because they want to be Icarians too. See? It's very weird. Like, it's always, this utopia is perfect. And then the greed of man destroyed everything. <laughs> it's like, okay. But this was not a natural thing for people who had never had wings. And when those wings were attached to the back of our ancestors, they turned black and blocked the sun from this village. Oh, that's metal as hell. Plants died first, and animals. We almost lost, lost our delight. Blah, blah. We almost lost our light of hope. What a horrible time that was! <laughs> you don't say. To keep the darkness from spreading, the Icarians built a huge wall around to shut our world from theirs. Ooh, now interested. That wall. That's the end of the world. Yes, the wall meant that our ancestors were left with the world that remained, remained on the side of the wall. Yes, that's how our wall works. The Icarians were nice enough to toss our ancestors some special nuts, which can remove the darkness. To be like, yo, you messed up, but here's some nuts. Deal with that. <laughs> okay. Although the darkness was replaced by mist, we since used these mist-clearing nuts to light our way into the forest. Without the nuts, I'm going to cut some words, because uh, even we, luck folk, would not be able to go through the misty forest. I'm gonna be rude and say we'll not leave, but it's your land, so I respect that. Wow, you got the nuts from the Icarians. Now I want even more. 
So what happened to the world on the other side of the wall? How would they know if they never crossed the world? The wall. Oh, I'm getting grounded again. Today, the world on the other side is still a happy and peaceful place. <laughs> yeah, they say that when we die, our souls return to the other side, to the land, to the hap, to the ancient land of happiness. What a mysterious legend. So, are you folk really serious about climbing that wall? We'd be literally climbing into heaven. It's kind of off-putting. Please take my advice and don't do it. No one has ever returned from there. Please rest, at least for today. You may stay at Rem's house. Please rest. Stay at that guy's house, not mine. I'm tired of your mess. Rem's parents would like to thank you for rescuing their son. I'm dead tired. How about you, Justin? Well, we did grind for quite a while. I did not mean it in that way. Uh, anyway, let's rest up for today. We good? We good. Okay. Pleasure, old man, even though you're quite, you're quite annoying when it comes to what we're going to do. Like, one assumes you know that we're not from here because we don't look like you lovely people. So, I guess it was worth a try to convince uh, Justin to not go through the wall, but I think he's bullheaded enough to be like, I don't quite care. And he was. Hey, come stay at my house today, okay? Please? Well, alright. Yeah, I'm saved. What do you mean, saved? You're saved? Yeah, well, um, you see, if you don't come, my dad will punish me. What? Oi, mister, the heck's that about? You got his permission. That means you can be our guest now. Please make yourself at home. We're very grateful for what you've done for Rem. Still, we need to think of a proper punishment for Rem. Oh, God. Since he broke a law of the village. And he didn't do anything. How about if we make him go gather Elmer nuts? Ooh, is that the thing? You mean some kind of nut from a tree? And it's a punishment just to go gather those nuts? Well, you probably don't know about the nuts from the Elmer tree. Oh, some very smelly nuts. I feel like there's an innuendo somewhere there. This thing horribly, but they taste good. So we use Elmer nuts in gathering as a form of punishment here. Okay, well, that's almost entirely pointless. Madam? Did you finish talking with the uh, village chief? Yes. It won't be easy traveling to the end of the world. He seems to be the only one who has a problem with that. After what you've done for Rem, uh, I will stay and eat. Yes, I would like some lore. Good, you should eat. Where? You should eat to help get back your strength from traveling. I'm having trouble reading here. I fixed a nice big meal as a token of my gratitude for rescuing Rem. Yo boy, my mom's cooking is the best. Everyone's mom's cooking is the best. If you can't say that, you should really enjoy your meal more. It's a bit sad. Oh, where, where are they? I thought we would have like a six-person meal. No. Oh. That Phyllis chief is so pessimistic, huh, Fina? Yeah, he certainly wasn't supportive of what we're doing, but he must think about his own position. Hmm. He can't help bearing the final responsibility. We should be thankful that he'd let us stay in this village. He did want to shoo us off, so I don't know if he wants us to stay. Oh, the puffing. Okay, Puffy. Don't get so excited. It's all right. Here, you can have some too. I understand why Puffy makes such a fuss. Rem's mother cooks up some delicious food. I just love this pie. It, just rem it reminds me of Aunt Lady's cooking. Hey, Justin. Don't say that. It's going to be homesick. Puff Chew? What? What are you doing, Puffy? You know better than to sneeze when your mouth is full. Oh, God. That's a mess. Really? Puffy's got a runny nose now. Maybe he caught a chill in that mist. Aw, just duck him in your jacket. Dress. That doesn't work, then. We should be thankful that he let us stay in this village. But we're not equipped to cross the misty forest. What could we do? Yes, okay, well, that's, that's finished. Don't ever sneeze with your mouth as full, okay, Puffy? Oh, awful thing. That mist in the misty forest. <laughs> department of redundancy department. Has made our clothing all wet. Oh my. I can't wait to take a cold bath. That sounded awful. I apologize. Sure, I'll join you, Fina. But no picking, Justin. Thank you. You literally outdid my terrible, kinky joke with yours, game. I applaud your eagerness. Or maybe Justin would like to join us in the bath. Even worse. Ha, huh, well, if... What do you mean, if? Just kidding, Justin. Boy, Justin, you just believe whatever people say. Yeah, he has a problem with that. And I guess so do we, because to a certain extent, we make your decisions. So apologies, Justin. Oh. Connell, we found them. To the northwest. There's a humanoid... Oh, no. There's a humanoid village at bearing 1-0. The platoon traveling the humanoid child has also reported that the forest mist is clearing. 
All according to plan, Colonel. Don't forget that our objective is to obtain, obtain what we spoke of. We've just begun. Prepare to effect... Prepare to effect personal drop. I don't know if that's correct English, but... Yes, sir, with permission, sir. <laughs> Alrighties. Lieutenant Lean, you will be in command. Yes, Colonel. We, actual Lieutenant Lean with two L's. Kind of weird. We shall obtain the last piece with our fail, sir. We shall obtain the piece with our fail, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. It is... Pardon? It is you who will be able to feel its presence. Find it. Yes, sir. Would it be yes, ma'am, if it is a lady? That's very interesting. I guess so. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Lots of questions, and... Well, I did mention to myself, which sounds very weird, that the, and I said in the last episode, the mountain climbing went a bit too well. So I'm not surprised that um, stuff is hitting the fan, if you will. What was that sound? It kind of, it sounded kind of like a train's locomotive. Uh oh, it also seems like the sound is getting louder. What the heck is it? I said from the window, some black, huge black thing that's floating across the sky. I saw soldiers like the one who took me away. Lots of, lots of them came out of that thing and ran to the mountains. The Gala Forces! The Team Rocket! But how, <laughs> how did they find out where Luck Village is? I was wondering that myself. Anyway, let's go take a look. Am I equipped? Yes. Am I healed? Yes. You okay, Ram? They're coming for me again, and they're not doing me, so... Okay. We're fine. Oh, do we get to kick the three ladies' asses? I'm ready. I am hella ready. You don't even know. Oh no, Chief! Some people are going to the God of Light Mountain. They're going to steal the icon. Oh, that was the weird thing that we couldn't do anything with. What do we do, Chief? That icon protects our village. If they steal it, our village is kaput. <laughs> That's strangely a god, anyway. If the icon gets stolen, then I don't know what we'll do. Live. You'll be fine. Chief, it's time like these. We need your wisdom most. First, everyone just calm down. Now, we have no choice but to fight to protect our icon. However, we have been living all by ourselves here in Luke Village. We never fought any battles before. How the hell do you deal with the ants? And the weird, misty bottle monsters? Weird. So even if we do fight this time... Okay, I hope you didn't hear that. Apologies. Uh, chances are we'll be all killed. This is not an easy decision. Hey, we'll fight. We know how to fight, even though we're children, and you all guys are grown-up men who should be at least able to swing a club. Chief, let us handle this. If they're Gali soldiers, we know we can drive them off. Um, Minda Justin? Justin, are you okay? Why did you have to volunteer us? That is kind of a, um, interesting move, yes? No one in this village knows how to fight, so the only other option is for us to handle this. That's why. Besides, how would we are the Oh god! Aren't we Rem's friends? Just calm down. Rem's home village is facing a crisis, right? So of course, we must do what we can. Friends. <laughs> this is the power of friendship. You're right. Yes, I knew it. We are Rem's friends. Let's, let's chase those rude dudes away. What brave youngsters you are. You'll fight to save this village. We must ask you to do what you can to protect our sacred icon, our god of light statue. Just leave it to us. Okay, gang, let's get moving. Come on, Scooby! Oh. Uh, was this away? I messed up. It was not this away, it was this away. There we go, just take your time with reading, you'll be fine, don't worry. And right back up. Thank god I know the way, because I went to this mountain way too much to train flipping magic. Oh boy. Hello. Oh, oh, and that's not that's not the monsters. Oh yeah, we get like tiny waves all the way up, right? I've been ordered to stop anyone from entering here. I'll use force if necessary. Well, it's not really an option, pal. You're gonna have to kick my asshole. Me kicking yours. That's kind of how. Ooh. Alrighty. So we have all this new stuff, which is nice. But we're gonna use a burn because I think they're close enough. Well, I got proven wrong, and that did nothing. 
Uh, how about we, um... Yeah, I'll just come back to heal the MP, really. Yeah, who cares? I'll just come back. Because I'm not doing as much damage as I expected. I guess this burn, so it's kind of like... Meh, level... Yeah, okay. It's kind of like... Meh, level 1 magic. So, sure, yeah. Who are you gonna attack with your heavy blow? Okay... Can I make it? Yes, I can. Uh, I think he's not stopped. Will he stop in time? Yes, he will. Sadly, we did not kill the other guy, but... Uh, oh, nice. That will be a one-hit battle. Which is always nice. Or a no-hit battle. Okay. Moving swiftly on. Here's hoping the uh, weapon XP works the same way. That is the only one I have left. The magics... Yeah, I mean... I'm actually... Pretty okay with grinding. Played enough MMOs to do it correctly, but what a mess. Our glorious Garli forces. Soldiers. You lost, who cares? Wow, that was two steps. No one, and I mean no one, might pass through here. I'll stop anyone and everyone. But somehow you are not willing to help the sergeants that were two steps behind you. Okay. Gotcha, Grandia. That makes a heck of a lot of sense. Um, let's see if she hits for a little bit more than uh, good old pal Justin here. Because he did like, what, 50? <laughs> okay, well, she does not. How about you show us a, a lovely uh, burn flame, pal? Burnout. Still, great racing game, still. So, uh, thank you for the reference, I guess. There we go. Oh, readies. I will stop more often, however, um, to grind, because it takes no time. It took me like a couple of hours, and it's kind of fun to unlock magics. And it's pointless, like, compared to... I don't know if recent RPGs would do the same, that is like... Not bad, eh? So, I would say grind heavy, but it's not, it, no, it's not really. It's actually very interesting to do it this way, to be like, I am half decent in fire and earth, which means I can control explosion. I am half de decent in fire and I'm okay in wind. So I can do like some base lightning stuff. It's very cool. What a fool. Why did I do it? What a mess. Alrighties. See, like two steps, are we gonna do this the whole way up? Because that's a lot of soldiers. What the rest? What are the rest of them doing? They can't stop you brass from passing through. Well, you probably could if all of you nine people came to get me. Also, uh, props, Grandia. I complained to you in the train that you would not spawn all of them at once, and you just did. So uh, you made me eat my words. Congratulations, Flipping Nations. Oh, flame burn him. What was I saying? I forgot. Yeah, the magic system is actually done in a very interesting way. Might not be the first game who does it. Um, I think Secret of Mana did it first in a similar fashion. Might not be Secret of Mana. I, I've never played those games, so I cannot tell you for sure. But the whole like different elements or different magics being um, unlocked as you span them, literally, uh, is far from a new thing. But, I don't know, it's an interesting system, for sure. Yeah, it was, <laughs> that is the crappiest swords ever. You guys have, like, sabers, and you hit for seven. Like, is it the kind of sabers you buy at the uh, Chinese stores? With, like, massively blunt edges. Oh, readies. That is nine down. Two hundred to go. Apparently people are just dragging doors everywhere. Hopefully that doesn't come in the sound, because that is very annoying. Dean, 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 dean. That is 20 minutes already, and we just started. Heaven. Sergeant, go do your job quickly. What do you mean, Sergeant? Okay. I will probably see you on the other part of the mountain, because this is getting slightly ridiculous right now. 
Are you from Palm? What are you, aren't you from Palm? What are you doing here? You don't look like you're willing to cooperate with us. I'm not. And I can see some guys right there. So um, I will leave you for the time being and catch you up on the second part of the mountain because heaven. Unless these guys are the second to last, but I don't think so. So yes.